The AAU meet in New York is attended by General Douglas MacArthur, who helped end its dispute with college officials. And the track events get off to a flying start as Fordham Crosh, Sam Perry, springs home first in the 60-yard dash. Hayes Jones of Detroit chalks up his 42nd straight indoor victory in the hurdles. A handy 7 and 3 tenths seconds keeps his title intact. There's disappointment in the pole vault. With such stars as Penty Nicola, world's record holder, competing, the crowd expected records to fall. The fabulous spin can do no better than 15 feet, and no one approaches 60. Nicola keeps trying, but he can't seem to get into orbit. When the results are tabulated, the highest pole vaulter on record finds himself in fifth place. Not a very auspicious American debut. Ralph Boston, Olympic title holder, can't seem to get in stride this season. His best is 25 feet, 9 and 3 quarter inches. Ralph's old rival, Russian ace Igor Turovaneshyan, beats out Boston for the third successive time. He turns in a leap of 26 feet, 6 and a half inches, an indoor mark for the record book. John Thomas is aiming high, hoping to beat out another Russian ace, Valerie Brummel. His jump of 7 feet is easily topped by Brummel, who does 7 feet, 3 and a half inches below his record, but good enough to win. as well be called the Beatty run this season. The mighty might of the mile from Los Angeles, Jim Beatty, takes the lead right from the start and he's never had it. Just a week before, he set an indoor record of three minutes, 58 and 6 ten seconds. He has trouble trying to beat that tonight as he's forced to set his own pace. He comes up to the wire in 3.59 flat in a race that brings him the cup as outstanding athlete of the meet. You can't beat Beatty.